Insert jingle here. Cafecito time, holiday edition. It's your boy Chingo Bling, my beautiful, wonderful wife. I'm so blessed. Look at here. Marisol. Marisol. Marisol with the Duracell. We Marisol. got DJ producer Big Rob. What's up? People are going to really think you a DJ or a producer. Or, yeah. I mean, you are, you a podcast producer. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. But DJ producer Big Rob. I know. People ask me like, hey, have you produced music before? I was like, no. no really. <laughs> hey, where you DJ at? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How long you been DJing? I can do the oh man the iPad the iPad or iPhone app. You ever played with those? Uh, yeah, I used to have so it. So fun. Remember? Yeah, yeah, Marty those said. are fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're at the party with your friends and shit. You're the DJ. You're like fading in songs or whatever. Yep. that's yeah. fun. I start love chopping it. Zoom, zoom. Exactly. I showed Pete that app because that's what I would use when I taught Zumba, mm. and so I would put the songs in and I show him. I'm like, jump, Look. jump. And then I could go, jump, and then you jump. can make a scratch noise and record yeah. it that way inside it, and then it would. <laughs> Marisol, many Damn, talents, man. Okay. Anything that involves getting crunk, setting it off, <laughs> just letting true. y'all know the party has begun. Uh, shout out to uh, Tom Segura and Christina P. in Austin, Texas. Um, Christina, if you would like to do a show with my wife, Marisol, she is available. I am available. Holla <laughs> at us. I think Christina and I would be really good friends. Dude, I think it'd be a great moniemaker, uh, YMH Studios collab. Don't with, you think? Yeah, where your whatever mom's heart. at. Can you imagine where your mom's at? Where your mama's at, yeah. I think she and I could really bounce. Just be like, welcome to Texas, Christina P. 100%. Yeah, where my mom's at with Soul and and Christina P. And they're going to like go run errands after that, go shopping. I think so. Compare uh, strollers. If you know Christina P. Tagger. Like, do you know the Duna stroller? What do you think about the Duna stroller? (laughs) Somebody tag her and let her know that she and I need to be podcasting together nice fjb shirt bro hey you know where can people you you trying to make it pink pill up in here you know i'm zoomed in so they can't see it (laughs) well somebody at jujitsu a lady today she had on her let's go brandon shirt yeah like when she you know at the end of class everybody's taking off their gi and stuff yeah and she had the let's go brand i was like hey nice shirt so i I had to let everybody else know that you recognize i said hey i got a song called vamos brandon it's on itunes right now and i dare anybody to say something you should have been like, if you want an FJB one, go to shingobling.com. I was like, don't let this white belt with no stripes fool you, player. I know about oh two gosh. sweeps. Um, you were out of town last week, so it was no cafecito time. Like, uh, the guys, uh, the guys, the, the podcast needs to catch up on where you guys have been, what's been going on. I heard you had a good service at church this past weekend. It was about joy. I talked yeah. about joy on my podcast awesome. today, babe. And rain. Sunshine. I and rain. I messed it up. <laughs> joy. Come on up. Pump it up. And pain. Mm, Rob mm, is looking mm, real sunshine. confused right now. Mm, I don't know. And rain. Rob don't be known. Uh, <laughs> actually, the song is by Rob Bass. <laughs> <laughs> no to, idea. Uh, there you go. Yeah, Rob don't be known, man, when it comes to um, old people music. Yeah, the 10-year gap, music. man. The 10-year gap of ours is a really big gap when it comes to music. I'm like, I'm like Rob, I know you grew up in the country, but y'all, I know y'all hear internet. I know you've seen Apollo. Oh, yeah. you said, look at that. Look at that confused face when you said Apollo, babe. I mean, kind of. It's too urban for Rob. 100%. Way too urban. Way too urban. There's no cowbell in there. <laughs> no cowbell. <laughs> Don't let Marisol do the cabbage patch and, and right the Roger now. Rabbit. What you finna do? I was, I was, I was about to do the Roger Rabbit, but I He can zoom out I, on the camera. I just kind of held. I'm holding back. <laughs> Rob, I cannot believe. Joe, no, it reminds me of how far apart we are. Where the hell would I have heard that? What? It's, the, it was everywhere. It was everywhere. When? It's called. It's called living in America. In, in it's, called, it's called living what? in a free country. In 1987 with where, television. Where was that everywhere? It, this is where everybody had cable. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You damn right. Ain't no goddamn cable, Miles. <laughs> Um, barely any cable. I, I was telling Pete, I was like, oh my God, we were watching, oh, we showed Pitting Thriller in the video because, uh, oh I, yeah, we were like, look, these are actors, these are dancers because she likes spooky stuff. Mm. But we were like, we're going to tell you about Michael it's Jackson. crazy. 
so she found real quick off subject on subject. She found these little YouTuber girls who like make Do skits, skits and stuff. Mm-hmm. scary skits, mm. and it'll be like Chucky moves, and it's like you hear the music. Yeah, it's all like produced, and, mm. and she's like, I think he just moved and then she's like the sister's like so you didn't do this and she's like no i hate All the little girls uh-huh. yeah and she's like into it i'm like change it i don't like this i don't like her voice is monotone so i hate it and she's like it's really good mom they're gonna catch they're gonna find <laughs> so the then ghost we showed right her now. thriller ah you know what i'm saying shout out to gary indiana have you you've seen the thriller video right? yeah, oh, yeah, okay, yeah 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 okay. So, because um, because remember, Rob got roasted in the Discord, and he was like, "Michael Jackson, eh. yeah, <gasps> no, eh. I, I'm still like eh. that." I mean, Rob, eh. Michael eh. Jackson. Nobody ever sat him down and showed him like off the wall. John Mayer's only here because of Michael Jackson. Yeah. Whoa, 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 relax. Yeah. If it wasn't so no, you know. no MJ, it wouldn't have been no John Mayer. What instruments did Michael Jackson play? All of them. His feet. All his of them. Feet. No, the he mo- knew the instruments too because they all had to learn how to. Well, play he knew instrument. how to produce. He he could like. He had to because his dad did not play, bro. But I'm saying he was he wasn't a performer of instruments on stage, right? No, because then I don't want to hear it. Because the brothers were made. Now yeah, I got once you. they figured the five, out, right? Hey, Tito. Hey, once they fi- once Daddy figured Jermaine. out he could sing, he said, "Oh no, my G, you off the mic, you off the instrument. I need you right yeah, here. Put that tambourine down. Yep. Yeah. Tito, pick up the tambourine." <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, so she saw Thriller. And I also want to, before we run out of time on this show, uh, we should touch on the Vanessa Guillen. Uh, is it like a documentary, you'd call it? Mm-hmm. Have you it seen that? Document. No, my soul's filling me in on it a little bit. She she told me she went Did you talk about it. that on your show? On, on her, her lounge. lounge. You did? Okay. I did but because... Doesn't mean you can't. We wanna, I want to get your opinion on well, it. Well, because I was telling him, I said, aside the sad part, right? Yeah, yeah. It's more anger that I felt. Mm-hmm. It's more anger that I felt towards the military, towards the women, how they're the treated, cover up. the cover up, the bureaucracy of not o- not only for females because there was males that were also found that were killed for whatever reason. One of them said he got groomed, right? What? Yeah, it basically, bro- yeah. Go on, keep going. It's crazy, and I told I was telling you there's one that was prostituting females or soldiers that needed money pimping out so soldiers. pimping them out and finding the people for her to have sex with so they can get money and he could get money one of the who sergeants mm-hmm. so basically man wow. it's it's such a big base i'm not gonna sit up here and put on my q hat and be like they were trafficking people up under the up under the base there's tunnels up were. under the base but allegedly there, that, but there were immigrant shenanigans going on there as well yes because two soldiers were arrested for on, on crossing illegal immigrants through a border checkpoint that I guess goes, I think they were taking them. They didn't say exactly where they were taking them through, but they got caught. And so they were arrested by border patrol. Wow. Mm-hmm. And no one talked about it. They And then they were taken to, they were, I guess the trial was on the base. Everything is within the chain of command. And there's never like a third party investigating what happens on the base. It's always the base investigates the base. So if it's right. like, hey, dude, where's my, where's my sister, bro? She's been missing for a week. Or like, hey, where's my daughter? She ain't been around for two weeks. Or what's going on? We need answers. They would just sweep it under the rug. But the Guillen family, they were like, le cierro esta base. <laughs> That's what the mother said. And the, and the little sister, bro, she was in 10th grade when all this happened. And she's dealing with a lot of, uh, which I didn't mention this on the podcast, she's dealing with a lot of anxiety. Uh, she's she's dealing with a lot of mental health health issues now because of all this that happened because technically she said she's never been able to grieve technically Mm. because it's a constant battle a constant fight a constant fight this whole time they're still fighting you see Mm -hmm. what i'm saying so it's a constant fight you never she said life is never going to be normal again for them never traumatic for a 10th grader yeah yeah she's She's, like i don't know what my life is going to be like it's never going to be normal again it's never and and she said she um she couldn't get into soccer anymore because her and Vanessa would play and and like she pushed away friendships and relationships because the family had to go all in. They had to deal with lawyers. They had to go to D.C. They had to like try to get this bill passed. I mean, it was it was. Um, like I said, the sad part for me was as a mother, I can I can't even a little bit imagine what the mom is feeling, but. As a mother, I also understand this fight. And if it wasn't from for them and all the noise they're making, other soldiers 
uh, would have not been found. Other situations would have not been heard of. It's because of them. And their bill is to have a third party be able to come in and investigate should some shit like this happen so that parents can have answers and they're not waiting around in hopes that yeah. the military will give them some kind of answer when their child goes missing or if their child dies and all they say, well, mm-hmm. we don't know. Yeah, We're waiting to hear back from the base. Instead, yeah. they took action. I think the friend's name was Frida. Is that, mm-hmm. was that her name? Where they came up with the hashtag. They like weaponized the hashtag to make it viral. And then the fact that there was like the sexual harassment component, a lot of female soldiers out there identified and they were like, I am Vanessa again. Mm-hmm. And it started spreading, spreading. Unfortunately, this was all happening during the Summer of Love, George Floyd, Antifa trying to weaponize and hijack, you know what I'm saying? The, yeah. the BLM movement, mm-hmm. right? Um, so a lot of people were kind of like trying to politicize it. And she said, this is not this a Democrat, yeah. this is not a Republican, this is not a, a, a race it's thing. It's a human issue. It's a human issue. And it's a 100% a human issue. Damn. And it's insane to me that no one has, um, or if other parents have fought it, why they didn't make this much noise. Like I said, mm. as a mother. They had to get bro. resourceful. They had to come right. up with their own um, search, like search and rescue Echo team. Search was like, the one I told you was mm, out there. The company, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, it, well, it was. So my wife likes to wa- watch heavy stuff <laughs> told you. late at night. <laughs> where it's like, Man, I thought yeah. we was gonna kick it. I told him. Uh, he She's goes, like, no, I want my blood pressure to go up. <laughs> he goes. Are we really gonna watch this? I'm like, come on, man, I'm already into it. Like, let's just let's just finish. And I said, I said, don't. I said, and I told him, I said, because he's like, this sad, this is this shit is sad. I said, no, 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 don't be a parent right now. Like, don't look at this from a parent point She's of like, view. I need you angry. I need you to look at how mad this should make you mad because you know there's a lot of a lot of little girls like her who told her mom, "I'm doing two things. I'm either going to join the military or I'm going to be an astronaut." Right. So, how many little boys out there? I and I, Rob, I think we talked about GI Joe. Oh yeah, on G. one I. of my Jane. one yeah. of my Rob, you know about GI Joe? I mean, yeah, I know it was a toy. I mean, I don't know a whole lot about it. You, you know, it's a cartoon. Yeah, somewhat. Oh wow. Okay. You ever heard the slogan, and knowing is half the battle? I have, actually. Is that G.I. Joe? That's yeah. G.I. Joe, bro. I didn't know that. Come on, dog. We're going to we gonna learn you a thing or two. <laughs> <I'll> learn you. <laughs> I'm going to learn you. Um, so, uh, what was I saying? Right there. Uh, what was I saying? What were we talking uh, You were saying, like, don't look at it. Ang- don't go into it Oh, angry. yeah, don't look at it angry. Um, Apparently. Look at it like, um, like I said, like little boys who dream about becoming a sniper or you know dream about joining the military i'm sure there's girls who are the same way right who dream about i was just telling rob i'm like this is gonna sound so sexist right now (laughs) but fuck females should just still not be able to join the military i mean there was a time i know but that is like it's like i said y'all want to be all inclusive want to be part of it girl y'all should have let them just do it you know let them y'all go be nurses y'all go be in the in the office i don't know because in the in the documentary they showed like black and white we didn't finish watching it but I think that's where we yeah. left off at, where they showed the black and white of women like in the bars with the men, but they weren't, that was as much as they were allowed to do to, they were separated. They weren't together at mm-hmm. first. Well, I guess from a historian, somebody please chime in. Yes. Uh, we don't have a Discord chat room for this show specifically. Oh, yeah, should we? However, mm-hmm. um, I don't know, that might be too much but but however uh, let us know in our in our discords right the Her we Lounge. should have a blings discord babe mm. and that's where people can join and talk to both of us because right now you're not on my discord and i'm not on yours you're not allowed on ours yeah we're like that's marvel. the difference yeah we're the marvel mcu you guys are like dc over there all like y'all weirdos. are so weird over there y'all are mean to each other and i do not allow meanness on my what, discord what was it the uh the, sh- the sh- well, okay first of all Y'all talk shit to first each other, all, first and I all, do not do that. First of all, there was a, a member of the Thea who decided to take time off. Right, It was getting too hot in the Discord. Mm-hmm. And I guess Rob had DM'd him, like, hey, man, chill, bro. You kind of going too hard on some people with, your, with the bull shark testosterone early in the morning, <laughs> all caps. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then from there, he took it as, we're not saying names. From there, he took it as, oh, Rob, on, he, listen, I mean, everybody in our Discord is going to know who we talking about. But homeboy took it as, oh, Rob want to be big brother. He over here censoring me. He want to be like Yoel Roth <laughs> over at uh Twitter 1.0, old yeah. Twitter. Meanwhile, it was nothing like that. It was No one was ever banned or kicked out of there, but it was just like, hey, man, if you need to talk about something, let me know. Like, cause you, you told him to chill because 
it was going to kind of make other people uncomfortable. Yeah, right? no, so it was. It definitely was. Experience. Yeah, there's a there, exactly. There's an experience that people are paying to be on there for, and it, it is a community. So you know, you gotta. That's why I didn't want guys in my Discord. But my guy, the guys that are from the Thea group that are in my Discord, they're respectful. And they, they know what's up. They bring value. Mm-hmm. And I will kick you out. No, I don't care. <laughs> it's good people in there, man. There is. Uh, I got Very paid, good. I got paid to bomb the other day. <laughs> <laughs> what? You got to yeah. get this. You didn't know I bombed the other no. day? No. Bro, I, sent, I haven't talked to you. Okay, well, I sent you the picture of the liquor. Oh, you did. That, because that Rob, I did appreciate. Yeah, because Rob always, he, he, man, liquor, liquor, alcohol, you got to do alcohol. But he don't ever smoke no weed with us. He I never, never smoked, forced it on he you. He never smoked. I'm about to force you to smoke this weed with me. <laughs> Anyway, um, so shout out to uh, Inland Engineering Services, a wonderful company, great people. I mean, it's very inspiring. Like just, you know, they're just so cohesive. Two years in a row, they've hired me. (laughs) And I just prepared myself mentally. Like, hey, man, this is not set up for comedy. Like there probably won't be a spotlight. Like the sound system is going to be, we don't know. And uh so of course I had I was like man let me just go ahead and get a drink man yeah, just so I can go into this a little loose I mean not even loose just kind of like grin what is it brace and grin it like grin and bear it yeah. like this about to be painful for me <laughs> this about to hurt my ego bad and uh, shout out to George Perez who um, anybody that follows him he's a bad motherfucker man when it comes to stand up bro like he's super funny he's super and when funny. when he first showed up right this is in Orange County and. He's like, hey, man, I've been working on my album. He's dropping a vinyl, a comedy album. Oh, cool. And he's like, dude, I've been working on my album today. He's like, but anyway, man, you know, we're catching up before he has to go up and, uh, and then bring me up. We're the entertainment. <laughs> and uh, he's like, dude, I've been closing out at the comedy store. He's like, I've been having to do a half hour after everybody. He's like, Roseanne Barr dropped in the other day. She murdered it. She went on right before, uh, right after Tom Arnold, her ex-husband. Wow. And he's just like, dude, it's been on fire at the comedy store. He's like, dude, my confidence is way up. How much time you want me to do? And I'm like, yeah, just do 20 and then bring me up. He's like, all right, bet. I got this. Dude, it got to the point. My plan was to do, to perform from the dance floor because I already knew you don't want to be a hundred yards away from everybody disconnected. They can't see you. They can't hear you. And he told me before he left, he goes, I'm going to, I'm going to perform from the dance floor this year. I'm not going to stay on the stage. Yeah. And be all far. Yeah. Like last year was Darren Carter and, and I, anyway, so dude, it gets to the point where George is up there. He's just like, oh, Chingo. Hey man, I'm going to get you back, dog. I'm, <laughs> he's like, I'm up here fighting up against forks and knives. He's like, note to self, note to self. He's up there giving note to selves in, in real time. <laughs> He's like, don't ever perform while everybody's eating. It got, <laughs> dude, I can see him doing it. And too, he, so. dude, he has killer jokes, killer material. Yeah, but they couldn't really hear him. They couldn't really see him. And uh, he, at one point, he goes off on this one table. It was like a lot of they were crunk. A lot of young couples. There's a lot of females at that table. He's like, hey man, come on man. Hey, they hired me to come up here and do this. And you, <laughs> hey real, t- hey hold it down, man. Keep it down. You don't see me up here? <laughs> He's like, damn, man, I done did MTV, <laughs> Showtime, Comedy Central, Netflix. So then how does he bring you up and how does that exchange go? Um, I forget how he was like, all right, y'all, like, let's give it up for, the, you know, the, the other guy or <laughs> yeah. something. But yeah, it was just very like, for me up there, it was very like, womp, womp. Like, like you not knowing about Michael Jackson and Rob Bass, it was like they didn't know who the hell Chingle Bling was. They were just kind of like, huh? How some of them, I think some of them knew because yeah. I chopped it up with a lot of them. And some of them, they they know you from somewhere. Like, hey, do the Canelo shit or some music stuff. But in this case. <laughs> How much time did you do? It got, look, it got to the point where it got <laughs> to the point. Funnier, I struck a chord. It got to the point where I'm literally up there like, uh, all right. Um, and I look over at the table of like the HR lady, like the main boss that like cuts the check. She's like the right hand woman to the boss man. And um, and and I'm like, how we how we doing on time? And she's like, Oh damn! <laughs> like, like like you're good, like you're good. You showed up. You got paid to travel. Yeah. You got paid to be at the airport. You got paid to get up early. You got paid to Uber. You got paid to like have to go to bed <laughs> with a little alcohol in your system. So he was like, Dude. Yeah, I don't know about next year. He's like, I was like, they should probably hire a band. He's like, they tell them they need to hire a band. <laughs> like, yeah, that way they could hear the instruments. Like, you know, I've never heard a story like that from you. Well, 
it's just a matter of, it's very simple well the first set year went setting. fine yeah it's like set and setting it's like huh? putting you people who understand comedy and they listen to comedy podcasts they understand there's Is this would this be his manager's fault <laughs> no no it's no. Just, i mean in a perfect world like we would advance it in a way but it's like they're super chill dude they don't they're cool yeah. dog. they're just like hey man come sit sit you sitting over here what else what you want chicken beef salmon chingo you drink it what's you know what i mean it's they just like, an expense honestly for the company <laughs> damn bro <laughs> it's a it is man you call me a tax write-off bro you're That's entertainment entertainment is a tax write-off i know but at the same time it's like let the person entertain give them the tools to entertain yeah like if you're gonna have somebody doing a magic trick did you bring your bunny and your hat? <laughs> like, are you chopping somebody in half? Yeah. Do, do we need lights? Are you bringing your own lights? And you know what? There's a, a dude that does magic that trains at uh, Urban Jungle. Huh. And um, Is he going to go with you next year? I told him. He's like, I'm bringing the, If there is a next that'd year. That'd be amazing. No, but that that's actually like... A, he, and I asked him too. We're like, we're drilling. And I was like, hey, dog, um, you ever do corporate stuff? He's like, yeah, I, I've done some stuff for Land Rover. He's like, I think I'm going to do their Christmas thing this year. And... um. And he works with Lil Flip a lot. That's where I met him at Lil mm. Flip's podcast. And uh, but even Tony, the the coach and the owner of Urban Jungle, he's like, "Hey man, you ever seen any of his uh, tricks?" <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, back in the day." He's like, "You good, huh?" <laughs> <laughs> you good at that magic. That's so funny. Like, but you, it's it's just about setting, bro. Like if you're if you're not set up, like there can't be. And, and George was up there telling them, "Come on, man, you go. It's like y'all a hundred feet away and." Damn. So was it set up the same way back to back years? Like you were just too far? I mean, because, yeah, it's the same thing because it's like last year was at the Disney venue. So either way that those modes, it's like you want a dance floor and you want a DJ because that's what people want to do after they're done eating, presenting awards. It's it's everybody they work with. You know what I mean? Like doing the Christmas thing. Everybody's dressing up. But for comedy, it's like, is, is there a stool here? Yeah. Like, is there anything that could kind of be a, a spotlight? And before I went on, I went over to the DJ. I was like, hey, man, um, how, how long is your mic cord? He's like, oh, yeah, I ain't bring the long one. I'm like, fuck. Damn. So I got to do it from the stage in the dark. Mm. But anyway, that's sounds my like, life. Sounds like a fun weekend, though. The The hotel. Oh my God, it make the hotels we stay at look like Rudy Poo. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how many stars is this? Because they got Peloton bikes. You know the massage Ooh. guns? Like the, yeah, like Theraguns. One of them, I, I forget the brand, but uh, Hypervolt or something. They had the massage guns. They had Peloton bikes. They had a heavy bag with gloves. You could borrow their gloves. Um, you got real excited at that. Oh, uh, towels, wet Warm, towels wet in, towels. The, in the fridge. Ooh, oh, in the fridge? In the little fridge. They Damn. had a mini fridge. That's how Michelle does it in the summertime. Buku wet tiles. Wow. That sounds like a great weekend. You should yeah. really talk to your manager about the hotels you stay <laughs> That's why I'm here. Why do you think I brought up... Uh, <laughs> he came home and told me that. I, said, oh, okay. I took pictures. I took Did pictures of the, of the things in the gym, the amenities, because when we reach Tom Segura, Christina P level, yeah, and yeah. we got Buku sponsors and subscribers and Patreons and all that, we appreciate the love. Um, hey, you might see a little Theragun or a Peloton bike. The Peloton, I did the 20-minute beginner. Yeah. It put a little whooping on me. You ever done a spin class before? Yeah. Okay. Was yeah. it harder? or? Um, I'd say it wasn't as hard as some of these spin classes mm -hmm. because they, they kind of go crazy. Yeah. I purposely picked a 20-minute beginner, but it still was like, <sighs> like I miss it's a spin. leg pump. There's just not. It's a leg pump, bro. Um, the spin classes near me are kind of high. Ooh, y'all high. You're high. Hiding giraffe high. pooch. Hey. Um, they're kind of high. Would you ever would you guys ever get a Peloton? That means you gotta work out at home. I know Soul hates work working out. I don't at home. do there's a I, nice nook in our bedroom where it would fit. Perfectly. Where yeah, it would. I'm not gonna lie. It'd be the perfect place to put it in. How much are the subscriptions every month? I think it's like five or ten bucks for the subscription. The bike itself was a uh, big time two on grand, sale. Right? It was big time on sale. I think they're like they were like two grand or three grand, but they were like literally nine ninety nine or ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, nine ninety nine. At the Peloton store? No, it was like Best Buy. Yeah, Best Buy sells Peloton bikes. Bro, somewhere? Best Buy sells row. They sell everything. It's like Amazon in there. What? I did not. Didn't I thought that. Peloton sold it only through Peloton. Uh, no, they stopped. Yeah. They really? Have, yeah, they have treadmills. Stopped. They have uh, they have like Norda Track, like the big brand, like Norda Track, I think it's called, and then like rowers, and then they have the Pelotons. And well, that it's a great product, man. Yeah, it's cool. They, it has music. It has an instructor. Yeah, and it, they'll she'll tell you she's like, all right, guys, for this we're going to go up a hill. 
all right, right now we're between 70 and 80% on your resistance and 35 and 40 uh, revolutions or whatever, like the yeah. speed. So they tell you and it, and it'll show up. It pops up as she says it. And as you're pedaling, you see like, oh shit, I'm slacking. Mm. And you start going out of range and you got to pick it up. Is it still a live class, right? It's like live instructors, isn't it? Or you can go into like on demand. Gotcha. Interesting. Mm. I need somebody to walk around and say, move. Oh, Do Chris! It. Chris, the boot camp. She needs boot camp style. I need, yeah, I need somebody like Chris Boykins, y'all. Yeah, don't Chris Boykins. He'll roast you Boy- while you're on the machine. Ken. Look at y'all huffing and puffing. <sighs> and so, uh, bikini season coming up. I know y'all gonna be mad, but y'all don't want that chicken wing hanging out the back. <laughs> <laughs> he is. I love him. I wish he wasn't so far from me. Now he wasn't far from here. But he's not at 24 anymore. He's not doing the 24-hour classes anymore. And I think 24 is not having classes anymore. Because oh, really? Of, I don't know why. They don't do group classes anymore? Maybe Elon Musk needs to buy it and gut it out. What else? He needs to buy everything. Just fucking... 24-hour fitness? Then where am I going to go? What? 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 what, what, what? <laughs> you say he needs to buy 24 I'm saying fitness? Elon Musk needs to buy it so that, they, it so that they motherfuckers get to work. Like, hey, man, why y'all ain't got no spin class? Oh. Mm. Well, that's where he used to be, and that's where it was easiest for me to go, right? Versus his actual location is not that close to me anymore. He's over there, uh, for six ten. It's like Marlin area, Marlin area. Or something. So it's kind of a little bit far, but I love him. He's yeah, he's good. Do you it, guys? It's an ass whoop. Yeah, did group classes together, or did y'all do it Spin individually? Class. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've gone, and, and we've also gone to uh, what's the other foo foo one, babe? Right there, Soul, cur- cycle. Soul Cycle's one good too. That one's good too. It's in the dark, you know. Um, they got like it's, club music and it's shit. It's hot. I mean, the girl, when you pick your instructor, it tells you what their playlist is. Like, we're going to do yoga trap. Yeah. So, <laughs> Don't forget, you know, guys, trap house yoga this Saturday with mimosas. So, I mean, I'd like it there, but damn, it's like $26 per class to ride a bike. Mm. I'm just like, duh, what happened? It used to be like 20. Now nope. y'all went up to 26. It's called inflation. I mean, I don't Biden know. Knows. It's called <laughs> Brandonomics. But then I, I, I like, I was like, man, I want to go back. I was like, I don't have a membership. That I'm a membership. So you can only buy blocks of classes. But I miss Spin. That was my favorite. There's also another girl. Uh, I don't even know. I forget the name of her. Studio Bar. Lorena, she's good too. On the east side. On the east side. She's damn good good. too. There's Revolution Spin too. That's a really good studio. Where's that one? Uh, I think there's, there should be one I thought around maybe the Rice area, but there's one in Sugarland. It's called Revolution Spin. Why does that sound familiar? Revolution Revolution Spin and Yoga. It sounds like Revolution Dojo. Yeah, no, it's not. It's just, Different. It's a spin off of that. There might be one in the Heights area. Okay. If there's if you've never been, Revolution's cool. That's a, that's it a good is? gym. Yeah. Okay. It's great. And now they included yoga, I think, <clears> as part of their program. One good thing about jujitsu is that there's a whole community behind it. Yeah. To where you're at the airport. What's up, man? I see you got on the M- Woodlands MMA. That's where you train. You know, he's like, oh, yeah, me and my girl. You know what I mean? Then you get to chit chatting or, or people always wear their little jujitsu t shirt. Yeah. Hey, man, I see you got the uh, tournament shirt, man. You. That's that ass. Yeah, you roll. Yeah, you know. You know oh, what I'm cool. You know well, you roll thing. under. They always ask who you, who you train under. You know. Speaking yeah. of Woodlands MMA, funny you said that. Alex Morano, shout out. He felt, he took a last minute fight over the weekend. Uh, he owns uh, GB Woodlands, Crazy Baja Woodlands. Man, was winning the entire fight, and then in the third round, towards the end, just got caught with a right and got knocked out. Where was this fight? At? UFC. Oh, UFC. UFC over the weekend. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a top. He was on a four fight win streak, and he took a couple of last minute fights. Won them. Took this one last minute because uh, Robbie Lawler got injured, and he got he got knocked out at the end. Shame. Wait, these are the people that do the exercising also on the treadmill, where they go off and on on the treadmill. No, that's the Orange Theory, isn't it? Well, this this looks like is this the one? Uh, I can't see the logo. It just says Revolution in a circle. Oh yeah, it is. It is. Oh, they must have added that too. Mm. Too. If you have one, if if you have a, a relation around you, they don't sponsor the podcast, which they should. Oh, never mind. Mm-hmm. This is in New York. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of uh, sponsors, well, yeah, TwinCandleCo.com. Uh, wow. Hold on. This is a new yeah, prototype? Yeah, that's a different one. Hey, we're smelling. Yeah, that's, that's new. Bro, but if, oh, if wow. they want cafecito time, they can go to yeah. TwinCandleCo.com. Yeah, yeah. We, we have a collab with TwinCandleCo.com. It's called Cafecito Time. However... Have y'all put this one up yet? Which one's that? Ranger Tree? Rocking rock oh. around the Christmas tree? We did. It was a limited run. I think we still have some of that. It was a wow. Christmas one. It's like, it's a slight pine scent. And the one that was burning earlier was reindeer treats. That's more of a gingerbread house smell. Mm. Has your nose palate 
cleansed. Oh, yeah. Well, I could smell that. That was really good. That's what yeah. I told them. Bro, I said, oh, I like this. This smells fire. Anyway, yeah. twincandlecoe.com. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, pick, your, pick your scent. Is that the one that you made? Mm-hmm. Is that your scent? The one that was burning was my scent. Oh, okay. So, yeah, the kids, the twins and Don, they, they all concoct these scents. I will once in a while put my hand in there for one or two. Anytime Rob going to be involved, it's going to be pumpkin. That's true. We already I pumpkin I have been through that already. I, pumpkin coffee together. Ooh, yeah. that's a good one. Pumpkin crunch, pumpkin swirl. She made swirl. me a coffee spice. That's the one that I liked. Mm-hmm. It, it was just a, uh, it's in, it's the one that I burn. Mm-hmm. And that's the one that's, uh, she just made it as a sample. And I said, you didn't make this one? She goes, no, that one didn't win. I was like, what? How did this one not win? But cafecito time is sort of that smell yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So save 10% using code word either H-E-R-R 10 or T-I-A 10. They're not. A, we should probably have a cavacito one, but her ten is so much easier to. I feel spell. like for um for the Blings podcast, we mm-hmm. probably should have a corner. What? Hey, what you talking about for the, the podcast? Bling? A corner, like a corner for our podcast. Oh, like set something up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was thinking that corner in the entryway. Okay. Good. I like it. I'm down. Yeah. I can't All right. wait. Anyway. Yeah. Um. So. Okay. Real quick. Talking about the Vanessa Guillen thing. Going oh, yeah, back yeah, to that. Yeah. Okay. Do you think that this will make the military more like willing to solve problems on forehood? Or do you think that base should just be shut down? I think that base has so much karma. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To where it's kind of like you got a clean house and gut. I wonder and how many dead bodies are still not found on that. Because this shit's far, right? Doesn't it go from it's, like... It's like uh, clean. And clean. Oh, like it massive, goes massive acreage. Right? It's like huge. Yeah. Deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> Way to make it a light. A light. I, saw a, I saw a meme that said something like, uh, don't don't ask me for directions, even though I've lived here in Houston all my life, because there's, part there's parts of Houston I've never even seen before. And it's That's funny true. because true. isn't that true? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Right? There's so many parts. Like, for example, it was so weird. Whenever... Um, so when I had my own job placement agency, there was a an office that I had to go to on the south, your southeast, southeast side of town, east. right? And so I was like, I remember thinking like, who lives over here? What why is would, this? Why, why would anybody live over here? And there's like, people that never leave that side of town. And I'm yeah. thinking to myself like, I only come over here because I have to drive through here to go to Galveston. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, this is weird. Like, I don't know why anybody would live over here. And those are my and stopping then, ground. You ain't know you're, you're, you're so me. And, yeah. then I, and then we start. I'm like, I go meet him somewhere. I'm like wait why have i been here before and I'm, I'm like oh that's that office like i'm like you live out here it's like i lived out here all my life i'm like like for real like go, i was so confused freeway, 45 like, 45 in like, woodridge <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like oh my god i've never even <laughs> it's so, so funny she's like you live over here i just don't know, start throwing up signs isn't that weird? Have you so ever been to that homie, side of town? Grand Ole Park, Just homie. Only when we're going to like, yeah, like Galveston, the beach. Galveston, right? Yeah. Or Kima. Don't let Rob lie to you. He ain't left uh, Rose- Neville. <laughs> uh, dude, the more I explore, the less I want to, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, I don't you blame know what I mean? Yeah, I don't but, blame you. So, though. babe, I we're, told we're him to that we should, mm-hmm. all of us pitch in. And I had said 500 acres, but he said we need um, a thousand acres in order to make a legit community. Our own little city. Our own little you city. You know, Jay Prince got a thousand acres. Word. Mm-hmm. Wow. And an island too, but the thousand acres that was uh, always impressive. And I told him we need at least like um, I said we need at least like one grocery store, right? Because we still have to make some kind of money. Like we have the our community needs to still make money, right? Mm-hmm. But we need to be able to control it, right? So who can come in? So it'd be a members only. So if you didn't live on our plantation, sound like a reservation. <laughs> it is a reservation. We it are like some Kanye it. shit, like a community. I said it sounded it like is. a it sounded like a like he a utopia, yeah, a he, communist he, utopia. I said he said it was, wait that sounds too communist. I'm like no, we're gonna be fair here. Oh. I'm like you're gonna be tried. <laughs> exactly. oh, red flag, <laughs> <laughs> equitable. She Diverse. said there's only gonna be one person in charge too. She's I'm like, like we're gonna be inclusive. No, we're not being inclusive. <laughs> <laughs> We're not. It's a trick word. It's a trap word. It is. It's a it's trap phrase. It, it's We're a way to make you ignore merit. It, it's like... Um, well said. You have to fill... You have to like meet all these criteria, we said, in order to be be able to shop on our plantation. <laughs> plantation. Ooh, that sounds that sound racist. Let's go out on a high note, please, guys. All right. What, what, what is the high note going to be? Um, I mean, it's a week before Christmas. So uh, what, what can people, you know, give them something? We'll be back Rob, next week. Rob, what did you ask Santa for Christmas this year? What did I ask Santa for? Um, I mean, if I'm being honest, 
I asked Santa for um, a whole new like desk setup. Oh, okay. for productivity. So, productivity. like a standing desk. That's with... some nerd ass shit. Oh, <laughs> a standing desk. That's yeah. a good one. Yeah, That's some nerd ass shit. Mm-hmm. It is motherfuckers, but it's for all of us. Like, the more productive okay, I, I like am, that. you know what I'm I saying? Like that. Good one. Yeah, go orient it. What yeah. did you? Uh, what did you ask Santa for Christmas, man? We're well, gonna finna know, Mike Jones. Let me see what I'm finna get. <laughs> I gotta get in the Christmas spirit. Let's do it. How he meant Hey, when he meant gets in trouble, and I'll yell at her, she just goes, eh, 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 eh. I'm like, no, just because you're like hyping it up does not mean you're getting out of this trouble. Oh, you're trying to be cute. Yeah. <laughs> she's just, she goes, she's like, eh, 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 eh. I'm like, no, ma'am, you are still in trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah, check out my vlog. There's her doing her exercises on her thing and her doing the eh, eh. anyway oh okay one of the things i would like to uh get yes is uh subscribe to eddie bravo's uh website nice you know you, you know about did, that oh. i'm working on it oh okay um uh, that's that's dope any you know me dog right now i'm really into um that kind of stuff so anything that's gonna just be a part of that yeah you know mastering the system Mm. Oh well. What are they? MTS. <laughs> We're so Marisol, what about you? Um I would like some money. Money, honey. To invest in my in my business. But More she, money. Chingo looked away real quick. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm over here trying to write it down. <laughs> I'm trying to see if Santa's gonna be able to put no, it in really, my I wanna go to um really I wanna be able to go to Vegas in February. Um, oh right right the, business um, trip for yeah it's all business related yeah <laughs> it's right not the really for me it's just for our business uh it's all for our future it's all for our future so that i can get the 500 acres um i'm really doing 10 yeah that's a lot of maintenance i'm like who's gonna i'm cut? doing 10 i said you are i said <laughs> we finna get you that, that that sounds like um i don't know if it is Rob. maybe you can kind of say yes or no to this mm. but i feel like riding the tractor and cutting the yard is kind of like meditation no a thousand percent yeah because yeah. you're kind of by yourself and you're just kind of like you know nah, 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 just cutting grass and especially because at that point you're not just on a lawnmower you're on the tractor so you're shredding that shit so you got a big ass you know disc behind you and you're shredding the whole thing it is pretty therapeutic Sounds i can like see chingo be. doing that's that. not like a lot of gas how much petroleum you need all the petroleum mm-hmm. because our farm isn't going to be ran on fucking electricity mm-hmm. yeah. and wind wind no but if we only had 10 acres seriously how long uh, does it is it a lot of work that's a lot of like work for the oh, yeah. tractor like oh yeah yeah it's yeah, yeah a it's, that's a long time yeah mm. takes a long time how long uh if you're gonna if you're gonna shred 10 acres it's probably all day it's like at least eight hours yeah six to eight hours because you're going like they can only go so two far. miles an hour yeah an, an acre I mean, yeah I, I mean imagine if you cut like a regular acre plot on a tractor that takes you an hour right there on a lawnmower i don't know are you gonna cut it, babe? I'm a city boy. He's a city boy. He's gonna he's gonna outsource it, but here's the thing: he's gonna be able to shred it, and then he's gonna be able to feed the cows that you have on there with that same grass because you can just they can just eat that grass, and then you're gonna slaughter the cows and have your own meat. So it's a whole <gasps> system. Black I don't Angus. Know, I don't want to know about killing the cows. I want to eat the cow. I just told you that. I just don't want to know about it. I love that all our beef is coming from one animal. That's pretty cool, huh? Right? Mm-hmm. Even even Luisa, uh, what was it? What, what did she cook that the big steak that one? Oh, day? she made a chuck roast. <laughs> Luisa mm, style. Nice. Nombre Luisa le puse style. papas chorizo en yeah. barre chingo de chipotle. Yeah, she and then she said, "Man, she goes, this meat is good, it's healthy, fresh." She's like, "I reheated it. She doesn't do any. She doesn't do leftovers. Right. So anyway. she doesn't eat okay. leftovers." And so she said, "I even reheated that meat." And she said, "And it actually tasted just as good as it did yesterday." And I'm like, "That's because it's." an organic cow we knew mm-hmm. we knew exactly what the cow was doing throughout its entire life got updates and, shit. and got updates no we really did rob we <laughs> no were. they didn't get you not updates like here's the cow eating grass right now it's being fed it's playing it's by the bottle here's where we smashed the, the fucking hammer on the head <laughs> babe like the guy that works at whole foods when oh, he yeah, talks yeah, about yeah. the about the uh cows right or was it about well, yeah. the fish or something yeah cows he's like they, they like to play and they, you put balls out there and they and he was like, they're all, I was like, oh, wait, so I'm eating a happy cow. That makes me feel really good. <laughs> it's like no hormones. And then, and then, and then we asked this, this particular person, right? He was like uh, in charge of the, f- the f- seafood at Whole Foods. And we're like, we're like, hey, sometimes we buy y'all's uh, fruit and veggies and they go bad fast. He's like, yeah, 
normally the people that shop here you know they know that they got to eat it fast like the stuff that lasts long that's the cheapy stuff at you know at joe v's and fiesta and sellers brothers they, it's like uh, you're buying fresh fire. and then it's funny i told you i came home this is legit i came home with this like fresh loaf of bread oh like, the sourdough i said mm. the guy was packing it i said it was fresh like sliced. so good i mean big texas toast this big i said i i was hungry so i went in there sh- grocery shopping hungry which is the biggest mistake mm-hmm. especially at whole foods that french toast i posted I it came from that, it came from that sourdough. It looks so good. He roasted me in the Discord. Man. Because Robbie, line, Robbie fronting like he just know how to do it. <laughs> Rob, boy, Rob, exagera, wey. Crema los tacos. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. He know how to act like he know. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just put, you do it's the bread. Hey, hey, he's, hey, the little, he's secretly just texting Don down here. How do you make a French toast? 100%. And, and then Don's replying. 100%. He's got his neural link in the back of his. 100%. Hey. Medula, I'm blue blada. <laughs> That's a skill in itself. Anyway, it's. Pretty- Rob's a bullshit artist. <laughs> He pulled out the last like two slices of bread. He's like, "Fuck!" He's like, "It's got like little a little bit of mold, mold look like mold. on a crust said, on the edge." Damn! I was like, "Why?" I, I just, just bought this off. bread, <laughs> and then I he cut it off. <laughs> it's a little bit. And he goes, "I said, oh, not in this economy, boo boo." I said, "That's this that's whole food is sourdough bread." <laughs> I said, "That's because this is this fresh bread. This was actually like." That's what they meant. Like it doesn't have a bunch. Of it chemicals. has a bunch of chemicals, yeah. so it's not going to last me like two weeks. You know what I'm saying? So it was like good bread, Rob. I'm yeah. talking about it was like dude. I love fresh. sourdough bread. The, I forget who who it was. I can't remember who it was. Maybe somebody I follow on Twitter, but like they were basically saying like um, you you can't go wrong. Like when you source some like really good quality bread, it's mm-hmm. like you just can't go wrong with whatever you do with it. Yeah. 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 It just I makes mean, a world of difference. I mean, during the lockdown, everybody's making sourdough bread. They were all like making their own starters and yeasts and stuff. And, you know, that's how they were surviving. That's what I should have done. I didn't, I didn't teach myself how to make bread. And I was sitting there depressed, them. talking about, man, so they really shut down all the work, all the comedy clubs. And now we're coming to find out who was helping to share, shape all that narrative he, and censoring people that were saying, hey, we don't think school closures are good. Hey, we have to really think the repercussions of lockdowns. Well, you were just in California and they're reinstating mask mandates. Did you see any of that happen while you were there? No, you see your fair share of people that uh, are wearing masks throughout the airport. Yeah. I mean, even when I see them here, I'm always like... A little odd. Even Penny's gymnastics instructor. Yeah, he still won't take it off. Oh, wow. my God. This The other day uh, at, at their swim school, the girl said, I saw you at somewhere. She's like, and um, she's like, I said hi to you, but you just kind of went like this and walked by. And I was like, uh, well, did you say hi to me? I was like, I don't remember that. She goes, this is me. And she pulls down the <sighs> thing. And I'm like, I don't know anybody. Bro, this is TMI. But when, by the girl that used, that waxes me, okay, <laughs> she wasn't wearing a mask. And I literally walked right by her. And I said, hey, is my waxing person not here today? And she's like, she's right there. And I'm like, oh, I only know what her eyes look like. Is that not weird? That's wild. So I didn't recognize her without her mask. She wasn't wearing her mask. And she didn't recognize you with your clothes on. <laughs> exactly. On that note, that was good. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for you tuning in. <laughs> God bless the time. I'm so I'm a blessed, lucky man. This is my wife right here. God bless the time. Thank y'all for tuning in. And hit us up. Uh, maybe we can start answering advice and questions. Send your questions to which email? Red pill the models at Gmail. We'll do money souls. Okay. Which, which is, one? Uh, her lounge podcast at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. Perfect. And subscribe to the YouTube, uh, which is mine. All these go on my chingle. Oh, yeah, YouTube. they do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chingle bling. Y'all take care. Peace.